Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to analysis of high parent data. The pipeline that I have familiarized myself with includes four different programs. Uh, MCDF URI from Fluidime, Elastic, Cell Profiler and Histocat. The programs are used in this order and I will talk a bit about each of them. The Hyperion machine produces .mcd files and these can be opened in MCD viewer. When you open the file it looks like in the figure where you have the information of site and the region of interest to the top left corner and underneath all the antibodies and corresponding channels that you have chosen to use. You can then check uh, all the channels individually or in combination. As an example, I have used Iridium 191, uh, 193 and Histone H3. And all these uh, markers and channels stains the nucleus of cells in sample. Uh, this staining looks to me good as the blue signal is not spread around the tissue but contained at specific spots. Here I check the nucleus marker in combination with epithelial cell marker E. Catherine. As you can see, the signal is not very specific since you uh, have all the yellow dots spread around the tissue. This could be uh, due to running the laser that ablates the tissue at too much power, or it could be because the specificity of antibody is poor. That's why it's, uh, it could be wise to check the antibody with immunohistochemistry before uh, going to hyperin. One can try again with uh, less, less laser power and hopefully get a better result. The next part is to prepare the files for masking. Uh, to do this, the files are exported from MCD view to OME.tif files that can be opened in the next programs. The next program that you upload the OME.tif files from MCD viewer in is Elastic. We will start preparing the files for cell masking and pixel classification. What I mean by this is that you tell the program which part of the tissue that is background, cell nucleus and cell membrane. The purpose for using this program is to improve cell masking later on by telling the program which part is relevant and not. To begin with, the files uh, looks like this, and in this particular picture I have used a marker Iridium-191, Iridium-193, which is a cell nucleus marker. And as I said, the reason for doing this is to mask uh, cells in the tissue, meaning that you want to distinguish the cells uh, from each other for further analysis. To the right you can see that there are two options called label 1 and 2. I changed these labels to background indicated with red and nucleus indicated with yellow. Then I draw in the picture to tell the program what is what. By doing so, the program learns which pixels it uh, shall consider as background and as nucleus. Then you do the training of the files and segment cells from each other. This can be applied for big data sets and that can be used for uh, making the job a lot, uh, a lot less uh, time consuming. These files are then saved as OMIT files and are ready for the next step. OMIT files can be opened in different programs, but I have uh, used Cell Profiler. The purpose uh, of using this program is to mask the cells, and what you basically select is different parameters and uh, what to analyze. Here I have chosen primary, secondary, and tertiary objects. For this pipeline, primary objects are nucleus, secondary cytoplasm, and tertiary, the cell membrane. These are the nucleus, uh, the primary objects, and this is the secondary objects, uh, the cytoplasm, and this is the tertiary objects, uh, the cell membrane. The last program in the pipeline is uh, Histocat for doing single cell analysis and phenotypes, spatial distribution of cells in tissues, and neighborhood cell-cell uh, -cell interactions, investigating microenvironments within the tissue. This part will not be about how to use the program, but rather what you can get out of it from using the program. Here in the top figure, you can see how the outline of cells uh, looks after running the different programs and in the bottom is how the dig digitalized uh, tissue looks like in Histocat. 
This information can provide details such as how many cells in total that you have uh, in the tissue. Uh, you can also distinguish different uh, types of cells based on stru structural markers and develop clusters of cells. You can make uh, heat maps displaying which uh, markers that is most expressed by different cell types in that uh, particular sample and patient and by doing so comparing the expression of various cells and uh, markers across patient samples. Uh, I hope this has give, uh, given some information about how to set up uh, an ex a hyper experiment and the different steps involved, the cost and how analysis uh, works. Thanks for listening.